Yeah, I know, people tend to be suspicious of Google Apps because Gmail and Google Docs aside, they tend to give up on a lot of them. That said, they seem to be committed to Google Keep, and that's good because it's a fantastic app. And I'm saying that as somebody who's not even a huge Google fan. Maybe you've tried Keep before, or maybe you're only seeing it for the first time in this video. Either way, these tips are going to make sure you want to give it another look or look at it for the first time. One quick note, we're only going to be looking at each of these tips on a given platform, but in most cases they'll work on anything that Google Keep works on. In a hurry and you don't want to type, if you've got your phone handy, you can record a voice message. Tap the microphone icon at the bottom of the screen. If you're prompted for permissions, allow them. A microphone icon will pop up on screen. Just start talking to record your message. When you stop speaking for a while, the recording will end automatically. On the next screen, you'll see the text of your message and the audio file below. Tap in the title area to name your file. You can also edit any errors in the message as well. Now you can treat this like any other note and share it, add labels or collaborators, or add images. Sometimes an idea might pop into your head, but your phone isn't handy, so you jot it down on a piece of paper. You want to keep these around for later? That's fine, because Google Keep can actually transcribe these for you. Open the Keep app on your phone. Tap on the photo icon at the bottom. Select Take Photo to snap a picture of your note. Alternatively, if you already have the image, select Choose Image. Once the image has been added to Keep, you can add a title. Now tap the three dots in the top right and select Grab Image Text. Now just wait a little bit while the app does its magic. Make sure to check the results for errors because these can and do happen. Much to my and I'm sure many other Google Keep users chagrin, the app doesn't have folders or subfolders or any kind of concept like that. That said, you can keep organized with labels. To create a new label, tap on the hamburger icon at the top of the screen, then select Create New Label. Choose a name, then tap on the checkmark icon to confirm. To assign a label to a note, tap the three dot icon in the lower right corner, select labels, then check one or more labels from the list to add them to your note. Now Google does have a bespoke task app called Google Tasks, but if you're more of a one app type of person or you just don't like Google Tasks, you can manage your to-do lists entirely within Google Keep. Tap the new list icon in the bottom left corner of the mobile app, add a title, then start typing your to-do items. Tap on list item next to the plus button to add the next item. When you finish a task, tap the checkbox to move it to the checked items list below. You can also convert any note into a checklist. Everybody's got things they need to remember to do at a specific time or in a specific place like the grocery store. Keep can remind you of those. Select a note. In the upper right corner of the display, tap on the bell icon to set a reminder. You can set reminders to go off at a certain time or place. Set the parameters you want to use in the options at the bottom. Have an email with some important information you want to hang on to. Keep can store this for you. Just remember this only works with Gmail and G Suite accounts. You can't use it with a third party provider like Fastmail, for example. Click on the Keep shortcut on the right side of the screen, then click Take a Note. The title of the email will display inside the new note. You can type a note to yourself about the email to remind you if you want. Now, once you've saved the note, you can add a reminder to it to make sure you don't forget about it. Keep can make sharing chores and shopping lists between family members and roommates super easy. Open a note in the mobile Keep app. Tap on the three dots in the lower right part of the display and select Collaborator. Press Save once you're done adding people. Keep will send an email to your collaborators inviting them to contribute. Just note that any collaborators you add will need to have Google Keep installed to do anything with the notes you share. Feel like your eyes could use a rest? Use dark mode. Open the Keep app and tap on the hamburger icon in the upper right corner. Select settings, then go to theme. Select dark. That's all there is to it. Keep makes it easy to add anything from anywhere to a given note. That said, this particular tip works best in Google-centric settings like Android phones. Find a piece of text you'd like to transform into a Keep note. Highlight it by long tapping on it and dragging your finger to include the entire phrase. Select the Share option from the mini menu that appears at the top. Now select the Keep app from the options available. A card will pop up featuring the text you shared along with other relevant information, like a link to the article. Press Save. 
Now this process will vary from platform to platform, but on iOS, for example, sharing a piece of information to keep works exactly as you would share to anything else. When you think of Google, search is probably one of the first things that pops into your mind, so it shouldn't come as a surprise that the built-in search function of Google Keep is really useful. Just start searching for whatever you can think of about whatever you're looking for. Keep will even search handwritten notes. And there you go, 10 great reasons to try Google Keep or just to keep using it. For more information, check out the companion article over at maketecheasier.com. You'll find a link down in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.